guys welcome back to my channel today's video will be i guess a two-in-one really on the makeup side it'll be a two-in-one and then i also will be adding hair and outfits this is not one of my outfits but this will be a back to school um, makeup hair and a couple of outfits i'll be adding also a few more hairstyles um but i was gonna do just my this was supposed to be just my um go-to makeup routine and my go-to makeup bag but i was like wait i'm gonna do a back to school video it's exactly the look that i do for back to school um so why not just add it all in one add it all in one video so i might be a little all over the place in this video but i really do hope you guys do enjoy and this is not my normal setup because like i said i'm just gonna do uh my go-to makeup routine um but yeah i really hope you guys do enjoy please like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded so i'm just gonna pop this in here for now on i always forget about the small one this is my first aid beauty auto repair cream you guys know this is my go-to oh and always make sure your hands are clean i did clean my hands but then i was sorting through my products which has been good but make sure your hands are always always clean before you put your makeup on i do have my mirror right here so i'm just gonna pop that on and then we're gonna move to brows i'm going with my nyx uh my girl brow pencil and espresso that's another thing i don't have any of my products currently with the mirror this is actually one of the products that i do that i used to carry a lot in my makeup bag especially last semester this was like my go-to but since i've like gotten so many other makeups i really have not been gravitating towards this as much as i used to this is the tarte don't be afraid to dazzle palette it has a big mirror here and then it has a bronzer and a highlighter so before i do my brows my lips are like super dry so you guys won't have to look at crusty lips let me pop on a lip product I have the Moroccan Magic Argan and Essential Oil Lip Balm. Then I have my Victoria's Secret Minty Shine Refreshing Lip Gloss. Um, I go between these two, but for today I'm going to just go with my Moroccan Oil because my lips have been extremely dry. So before I go in with um, my pomade, which is the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Espresso. I am going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've been really, really loving this putty primer. I am currently breaking out. I really don't know what it was. I matter of fact, I think it was the um, L'Oreal purifying uh, clay mask or something like that that I used the other day. Um, it was the only thing that I actually put on my face and I started breaking out. So I don't know. I even have all my go-to brushes here in this bag as well. Oh, I, have some here. I literally my products everywhere to find what i needed so i have my go-to brushes here i have a so i'm gonna go in with the pomade so now i'm gonna go in with my bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer in the shade medium if you guys watch my videos you guys know these are the brushes that i like to use my zoeva I know it's a 317 wing liner brush. It is super faded. Clean up the bottom of my brows. Just take some and just apply it to the eyelids. I'm gonna go in with foundation. My go-to foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth in 220 natural beige go in with that other concealer brush and take what's on the lid i don't know if anybody else does this but i don't because 
because that, that is product right there. So whatever's there, I like to take and just apply to the face. some of the sides because I don't want a whole lot and just cover up some redness and some acne that I do have here on my cheeks. My concealer, the same concealer, a lot comes out on the applicator. I don't want a lot because I'm not going to put a lot. So I just put some concealer under the eyes and put some on areas that I am currently breaking out on the bridge of the nose, forehead there, the cupid's bow and the chin and some acne that I do have. I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in 10 Fair Light and I'm going to take my Dry Beauty Sponge. I've been actually liking the Dry Beauty Blender a little more than the I want to set a little bit on the eyelids. I'm going to take my Zo my big Zoeva powder brush. This is the 136 powder brush. So I'm going to put the powder to the side because I will be using it again to clean my contour. So I'm going to set my eyebrows really quick. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Duo eyebrow and lash. So this was one good alternative for a bronzer and a highlighter and this is also another one that I really like is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I like it because it's darker and you could also use the powder. The lighter one of the Wet n Wild which is a lighter powder. This one is in Dulce de Leche and then this one is Caramel Toffee, the darker one. So you have a lighter powder and a Bronzer. I do feel like I am washed out a bit. I have not been getting a lot of sun, so I'm gonna go with a darker shade. So I'm gonna go with the uh, caramel toffee. I'm gonna take a big powder brush and blend that up. I'm going to clean up my bronzer. While I let that sit, I'm going to go in with some blush. I'm in the mood for some blush today. Um, so I'm just going to have a small blush like this. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Corky. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild blush. brush. And I'm just going to put that on. Ooh, that was a little too much, girl. I'm just going to brush away the powder. So I'm going to take my Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. This is good for when you want to prime, set, and refresh. So right now, I'm just going to refresh. I should have used it to prime as well. But I'm just going to refresh because I do have a lot of powders on the skin already. For highlighter, Elf Metallic Flare Highlighter in White Gold. Love my e.l.f. highlighting brush. I'm just going to spray a little more on the face, mostly in the cheek area. So yeah, boom. Yes, girl. So now with the sponge, I'm going to make sure that is nice and set into the skin and it doesn't look like it's sitting on top. Then I take my Zoeva, not Zoeva, my Luxie 243 Precision Blending Brush and the highlighter. And I like to pop this onto the brow bone and to the inner corner. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M505 brush. 
brush and into the um, bronzer that I use and just apply some on the eyelids. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Morphe spray. Guys, did watch my how to apply and clean eyelashes. You guys know this is my favorite pair of lashes to you know when a natural look like this. If I just don't want to wear mascara because I don't have super long eyelashes, so this is my um, Sassy Plus Chic Fashion Eyelashes. Um, this is the cute packaged ones, and this is my beat up ones. So you know these did not fit right. I cut them wrong on that lot in that video. Um, so I'm just gonna go on with my beat up ones. So this video is basically like my back to school makeup look, but my everyday go to look, like my go to makeup routine. You know what I mean? Because it's basically the same exact thing. This is all I do. Um, the only thing I usually would just change would sometimes be the lip product or the lashes. Pretty much it. My go-to lash glow is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. So you gotta let it get tacky. You gotta wait like 15 to 30 seconds. I need to be so close. <laughs> you see my tips in the back. you missing is just the mascara because as you can see my natural lashes are like down here and then these are more up so for mascara i'm taking my Too Faced better than sex so i'm gonna apply some on so blend my natural lashes with the falsies to make them look like they're all my natural lashes there was this video that i saw of this girl I just took a brush like this and she took she put it like flat and she just blended her natural lashes with the falsies and they looked so good oh my bottom lashes i'm into my bottom lashes and i'll be back to lip products so that's all i have left and then some more setting spray if you guys know me i know i live some setting spray so i'm going to show a few lip options you know i'm always there for lip options i have two lip combos so one lip liner with two uh color lipsticks lip glosses not lipstick, color lip glosses so i have the tart tardiest um lip crayon thingy it's like so rubbed off which is insane but this is the shade baked and then i have the nyx butter gloss in tiramisu i like to combine this and i like to combine this lip crayon liner with the sephora um lip gloss in perfect nude So I have my Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss in 01 Behind the Scenes. It's just a clear lip gloss. And I also will show you how it looks with the lip liner and that lip gloss. And the last lip color is my Estate Lip Icing in Drip. For this look, I'm just going to go with the Estate one. I really love how it looked. And I really just want to change my lip color. But, um, yeah. It looks super bomb. Really, really love this look. Oh. So this is the look and stay tuned for the outfits and the hair which will be coming in the next clip. So for hair, um, since I already have my hair washed and this is like 
day three. I think it's like day three. Um, so I just like to just re straighten it just to fix it up a bit. I'm gonna show you guys some hair styles before I do straighten my hair because it does require scrunchies when I do have dirty hair. So if my hair is dirty, like maybe day four or five already, um, and I know like I could tell like the top is like already getting greasy. What I like to do is just make sure my part is how I like it, nice and straight. So I get just this uh, rat, tail, rat tail comb and I like to just push all my hair back. And then I take this old Ava, Ava, Avon comb that I have. I like to just brush the hair. So I like to do the low ponytail. I like to put gel also, but since I'm just gonna straighten my hair, I'm not gonna put any gel right now. I'm just gonna brush it, make sure it's flat at the back. And then I'm just gonna take a scrunchie and I'm just going to wrap it. I like to wrap it three times. Um, as you can see, I do have a bit of flyaways. That's why I like to put gel. So this hair, this hair is simple, especially with this makeup look. It's super, super simple. I would use either uh, my hair gunk hair gel. This is a comp this is like the imitation mocha de gorilla. Whatever, my Spanish is not the best. Anyway, this is the imitation version. I got this at the dollar the Dollar Tree, and oh, I love the smell and I love it. Like it actually works. Um, I also use this clear ice ultra hold styling gel. Um, this doesn't get as hard as that one, um, but it does smell really good and it, it works really good on the hair. But I also like to go in with a spray bottle of just water. I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, so if I don't want to put a ponytail or like let's say this half of my hair is not completely straight and it's like all like ugly, I would just twist it and just wrap it. If I have to add any bobby pins, I will. Sometimes when I don't even want to use bobby pins, I'll just tuck the little hair under the scrunchie like that. And it still works good for me. Um, another hairstyle that I like to do is a top bun. But my hair is super straight, so I usually like to tease it if I have my hair super straight like how I have it now. So I'm just going to show you guys just the regular one without teasing because I do want to straighten my hair. For this hairstyle, I like to take a lot of water and a lot of gel to slick down all my hairs, especially if it's super straight, like how it is right now. So I tied my scrunchie three times. And then this is where bobby pins come in handy if you would like some bobby pins. Um, I don't always use bobby pins because I like that messy one look. And I like to make sure everything is good. And then that's when I go in with the spray bottle for all these hairs. And also any any gel I decide to use. I like to use this brush. I got it at Target. It looks like a toothbrush. I like this to just slay some edges. I like to use my Ultra Chi straightener. It's the orange one. Now, after makeup and hair is done, we're going to go into some outfits. So I'm going to take you guys to my backyard and show you a few outfits that I will definitely wear this semester coming. So stay tuned for outfits. The top is a Forever 21 bodysuit and the pants are from Levi's and the sandals are from Target.
top is from Target's men's section. Jeans are from JCPenney, the brand Anne, and these shoes are from Vans. Top is Forever 21 crop top. Jeans are from Levi's, and these shoes are my Vans, and you can switch them to the Target sandals. I really hope you guys did enjoy this back to school hair, makeup, and outfit video. If you guys do like videos like this, please definitely let me And yeah, it actually brings me out of my comfort zone because I am doing hair and also outfits. To show you guys, it's not just makeup. If you guys really enjoy, definitely leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.